Hello, I'm Ron Clymer from Clymer School of Real Estate in Orlando, Florida. I want to talk to you about real estate math that's on the Florida State Exam. Let's start out with some basic stuff. Let's start out with documentary stamps on the deed. We call them doc stamps, and they're a tax that we have on Florida on the deed. In fact, if you get the easy test, there's a question on the exam that says, who gets the money? from deed stamps and the answer is the state of Florida. Now you gotta have these rates memorized. The stock stamps on the deed are 70 cents per hundred dollars. They're 70 cents per hundred dollars. Now what that means is if you bought a house for say two hundred and sixty five thousand dollars, that's the price of the house. You divide this by a hundred to figure out how many stamps you need because the stamps are per one hundred dollars. So you need two thousand six hundred and fifty stamps. That's how many stamps you need and they cost seventy cents. They cost seventy cents so you times that by point seventy and I'm going to do this with my calculator. You can do it right along with me. That's two thousand six hundred and fifty times point seventy. And my calculator says $1,855 and no cents. A little tip, doc stamps on the deed will always end in zero. If they don't end in zero, you got the wrong answer. They always end in zero. And the reason they do is because if you bought a property for say $83,333, that's the price of the property, all right? We're going to divide that by 100, and we see that you need 833.3 stamps. Well, you can't buy 0.3 of a stamp. You either buy a stamp or you don't buy a stamp. So you're going to have to buy 834 stamps. You take the 834 and put it in your calculator times 0.70, and you'll see that you need five hundred and eighty three dollars five hundred and eighty three dollars and eighty cents doc stamps on the deed always end in zero if they don't you probably forgot to round them off now this is a tax to the state of Florida it's on every legal transaction that occurs in Florida you always have doc stamps on the deed now we have another tax in Florida called documentary stamps on the note or on the mortgage. Documentary stamps on the note are 35 cents per hundred dollars. That's 35 cents per hundred dollars. We call them note stamps or documentary stamps on the note and they are 35 cents per hundred dollars. So if you go out and got that a mortgage for say $73,333, you bought that property I just gave you, you put $10,000 down, you got this new mortgage for $73,333, we divide this by 100 and we see that you need 733.5. Can't buy a point three of a stamp, so you need seven hundred and thirty-four stamps. You need seven hundred and thirty-four stamps, and they cost thirty-five cents. So times point three five. Let's do this together. Seven hundred and thirty-four stamps times point three five is two hundred and fifty-six dollars and 90 cents. Now, doc stamps on the note will always end in zero or five. If they don't end in zero or five, you got the wrong answer. They always end in zero or five. Now, doc stamps on the note are on the brand new mortgage. They're on an assumed mortgage. They are not on a subject to mortgage. So they're on new mortgages. They're on assumed mortgages, but they're not on subject to mortgages. If you've forgotten what that is, go back to your book. You don't need to know what it is. 
Just know it doesn't get the stamps. Now, there's another tax in Florida called intangible tax. Now, intangible tax is not a stamp. It's not a stamp. It's just a tax. And it's .002 times brand new mortgage. So if we got that mortgage that we just talked about, $73,333 times 0 .002, take your calculator, 7333 times 0 .002, that's $146.67, $146.67 is the intangible tax. This tax is on brand new mortgages only. It's not on assumed mortgages. It's not on subject to mortgages. It's only on brand new mortgages. It's called intangible tax. Purpose of all three of these amounts of money is revenue for the state of Florida. That's a question on the test, the easy test. Now, let's talk about interest and I assume everybody knows how to compute interest. The formula for interest is interest equals principal times rate times time. Interest equals principal times rate times time. Now, I learned this back in the eighth grade at Largo Junior High. And the way Mr. Adams taught it to us there, he took this little memory peg, I over PRT. He said, anytime you know one of these four factors, you can always get the other one. The formula for interest is P times R times T. P times R times T. So if you wanted to borrow $10,000 at 10% for one year, how much interest would you pay? 10,000 times 0.10, let's use the calculator, 10,000 times 0.10 is $1,000 times 1 is $1,000. So you would pay $1,000 in interest. Interest is always expressed in dollars, and that's $1,000 interest. Now, if you wanted to know one of these other factors, for instance, if the state exam test question said, you borrowed $52,500. That's the principal balance. You paid $1,185 per quarter, per quarter, for the interest. And the question is, what is the interest rate? What is the interest rate? Well, here's the formula. You cover up the R. R equals P over T. So we end up with R equals I over P times T. Now, Mr. Adams in the eighth grade taught me that if you'll take the interest, no matter how it's given to you, and turn it into annual interest and make the T one, it just makes the arithmetic easier. So in this question, they gave us $1,185 as the interest per quarter, per quarter. So if we times that by four, let me use the calculator, $1,185 times four is 4740. On the bottom of the equation, the principal is 525 times one, because we made the one year, so we end up with $4,740 divided by 52.5. $4,740 divided by $52,500 is, is 9%. So, we got 9% interest, $4,740, $52,500. So $4,740 divided by 52.5 is 
That's a 9% interest rate. I'm going to have to go now to Climber School of Real Estate. You can reach me at 407-822-3926. Check out some other videos we may have.